Scrabble fans, it's your director of fun, Mike Quackenbush here with a fantastic match this free match Monday just for you. Our recent doubleheader down in Gibsonville, North Carolina has already been released for download or streaming over at ChikaraPro.com. But you won't have to head over there to see Dustin going one-on-one -on -one with Sloan Caprice from The Lodger, because I've got it for you right here, right now. Dustin, who's known for his high flying, also a great in-ring technician with lots of experience. Sloan Caprice, better known for his power moves. Of course, take a look at this man's physique. That should come as no surprise. A lot of high-impact throws, very dangerous moves that he is capable of. Let's see how he matches up. Hold for hold against Dustin. I can't wait to see how it all goes down. Kevin Burr sounds the bell. We are off and running. Dustin caught an early flight out of California to make it here in time for the Lodger in Gibsonville, North Carolina. I'm wearing a sweater, man. What are you talking about? Had a long night at the office just last night in Reseda, and he might be in for another long night at the office against Sloan Caprice with a simple waist lock takedown. Disqualify him. Disqualify him. I don't really get disqualified based on size, Dustin. I know a lot about the rules. I don't think that's one of them. It will be to Sloan's benefit to keep the pace of this match a bit slower because when things quicken, Dustin can go with even the fastest professional wrestlers on the face of the planet. No! They're gonna work out. They're gonna work out. They're planning big I don't know if under all these hot ring lights, wearing a sweater vest is the best of ideas. From the knuckle lock, it's a monkey flip to Sloan Caprice. And Dustin just kicks him off. Now Caprice, the way he came back through that, he would have been able to pick Dustin up into the Mexican catapult. But before that could happen, Dustin just kicked him away. Two boots to the solar plexus, freed himself from the double knuckle lock, and now thought it was gonna be a traditional collar and elbow tie. And that's exactly what Caprice wanted Dustin to think, but he put a knee right into the midsection. And as Dustin tried to free himself by pushing his way out of that side headlock, Sloan Caprice just clamped it tight. Talking a little trash is Sloan Caprice who goes up and over, shows off a little of his own agility. Look at the powerhouse go. And he's no slouch in the ring. He went right back to that side headlock. Gonna stick with what holds work for him thus far. Let's see if Dustin can free himself. Tangle up in the ropes. Caprice is gonna have to relinquish the hold. Dustin came charging forward, but met by a powerful shoulder block. Caprice has gotten the better of Dustin. Three exchanges in a row. There aren't a lot of wrestlers that can say that. If Caprice is out to send a statement to the rest of the locker room, maybe those who think he can't transition into a singles role will look out. Dustin, I talked about how quick he can be. Low drop kick found the mark on the kneecap. Double stomp right to the spine. Just that quickly, Dustin can turn things on a dime. He's got the advantage over Sloan Caprice. Well, he wanted the Atlantis clutch. He's making a variant of the octopus hold. It's got a double grapevine held in place by Dustin's right leg. You can see how Caprice's left arm is inside the hold, not outside. And no sooner that he started to counter, Dustin went out the back door. He just doesn't have it high enough on the waist for a sunset flip to work. Neck hang to Caprice. He sends Dustin back into the turnbuckle. Great looking power slam with authority. Covers him for two. Only two, says Kevin Burr. And a look of frustration crosses the countenance of Sloan Caprice, who's going to have to dish out a whole lot more if he wants to take a win over a veteran the caliber of Dustin today in Gibsonville. Sloan Caprice now dragging Dustin to the interlocked front chancery to center ring where he's going to pick him up for a vertical suplex. No, looks like a slingshot suplex. The calling card of Tully Blanchard and many other greats. Now the calling card of Sloan Caprice, a rising great in the ranks of pro wrestling. He just bounced Dustin off every top rope he could find. But he was a little slow to capitalize, and that might have been the difference maker in this contest. If he'd been quicker to cover the shoulder blades, he might have picked up a win and a point toward a future shot at the Grand Championship of Chikara. 
Come on, Ruben. Get it. What? Give me this thing. Give me it. Decided to take the camera. From Welcome to Sloan TV. Brought to you by the big deal. Sloan Caprice dishing out the punishment while he's got a hold of one of our very expensive digital cameras. The travel schedule of Dustin certainly did not allow for him to get a full night's rest. And you gotta wonder what kind of factor that will play in this contest. In addition to which, this was not one of the matches originally scheduled for the card. That gives Dustin less time to prepare. And there's only so much you can do to prepare for someone like Sloan Caprice because there's not a lot of tape of what Sloan Caprice will do as a singles competitor. Dustin is at a real disadvantage and he's gonna need quick moves like that DDT if he wants to swing the momentum in his favor. But now that he's got it, Look at the fatigue. Dustin unable to capitalize. And if he's not a well-trained and well-rested, Sloan Caprice will get the better of him today in North Carolina. Series of jabs. Dustin starting to string him together. Big forearm down the jawline. Dustin's gonna set him up. Sends him for the ride. Dustin weaves underneath and connects with Soul Food? Well, that's a new development. Charging into the corner, but nobody's home. That elbow and his rib cage collided with the top turnbuckle. He elevates Sloan Caprice and then meets him with a brain kick, the Enziguri. Dustin is poised to fly. Sloan Caprice comes too near the ring. Pescado Plancha found the mark. Finding solace in the embrace of a ringside fan. Dustin's finally starting to hit his offensive stride, but he needs to keep it going. He needs to stay on top of Sloan Caprice, or this thing could turn at a moment's notice. Whoa! You can hear the sound of that chop making contact with the thickly muscled upper body of Sloan Caprice. Dustin's gonna drive the wind out of him again. Stinging blow from Dustin as he peppers and punishes Sloan Caprice in the ringside area. Gonna send him back inside, or at least he tried. Caprice is still out on the apron. Healing himself back up as Dustin comes. Block, strike, he hit him with a forearm. Dustin, though, came right out and met the knee. Look at Caprice go slingshot. Schoolboy, shoulders exposed. Mm -mm. But he's hanging on. Look at the power of this guy. He just lifted Dustin up with one arm. And when Dustin kicked out, turned things right over into a single leg or half crab. A very punishing hold. And it was a variant on this exact hold that allowed Dustin to defeat Brian Danielson in the finals of the King of Trios tournament many moons ago. One of the defining wins of his Chikara career, and Dustin's just about done it all as we talked about. Okay. He's won the Young Lions Cup, won the Rey de Boladoras tournament. He's held the Campeonatos de Parejas. He's really done just about everything here in Chikara, with the exception of holding the Grand Championship itself. And you know for all singles competitors, that really is their ultimate goal here. Sends Caprice into the turnbuckle, another kick to the back of the head. Dustin got tangled up on the top rope. Picks him up, turns him around. Falcon Arrow reaching out, cradles the leg. He just didn't draw enough weight up onto the plane of the shoulder blades. Tell him again, Dustin! Falcon Arrow, a move originated by the late, great Hayabusa a high-flying falcon of FMW from many years ago. He is waiting on Sloan Caprice to be in the perfect position. What does Dustin have up his sleeve? Oh, and that sweater came into play, but unfortunately for Dustin, he's the one that brought it into the ring. 
Sloane Caprice is all the way up there. What's he gonna do? Wow! Super Frankensteiner from Caprice! What can't this guy do? Showing off his ability to fly, his agility. I am so impressed with Sloane Caprice. And this is a mistake. Taking a moment to insult Dustin by adding this, this is a mistake, and it might cost Caprice the match. He needs to get up to the top turnbuckle, and whatever it is he's thinking of, he needs to do it. He needs to do it right now. And this has backfired. Those were precious moments he sacrificed on the altar of attempting a high-risk move with the insult that that sweater vest added, and I think it's gonna cost him the match. You can't make a mistake like that when you're wrestling somebody the caliber of Dustin. Came running right out into the... No, down the back goes Dustin with a counter. Put him high on the shoulder blades. That's a great pinning combination. Super kick found the mark on the chin of Sloan Caprice, who might have just lost a bicuspid. And Dustin's about ready to get down to business. Caprice has got him. Fireman's carry position. He's just not centered. You could see he was not centered on the shoulder blades. Short pile driver to Dustin. That could be all. He jammed him head and neck first. And that's the three count and a big win for Dustin in Gibsonville.